Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to Brandy's Place. So I washed my hair and I um, was in the middle of taking out my lock knots and then I said, oh, I probably need to do a video about it. So if you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel below. Um, also click the bell if you like to see when I actually make more videos. And if you like this video, do a thumbs up for me. So here we are with my lock knot. So I've taken some of them out, as you can see. Came out really pretty nice. Um, on a couple of them, I actually had to use a perm rod, the really small one, just because the lock was so thick. And let's see. I think this is one of the ones I had to use a perm rod on. So you can see the curl here, pretty cool. Um, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos about lock knots. I wanted to try them. So to me, it reminds me of um, cocooning on free natural hair. It was the same type of technique um, where you're wrapping the hair around itself and putting it through the loop and it stays and voila, you have nice cute little um, curls. So I like this because the curls that I've done before, um, they were not as neat. I'm interested to see how long it's going to actually last without um, losing its curl. And because I'm in Florida, I know it's very humid. So that's also a test, although it's not as humid. So as you can see, I just took one out and this is this. So as far as what I use to wash my hair, um, I use the Shea, no, it wasn't Shea Moisture, I'm sorry, it's TGIN Moisture um, Shampoo, because in my previous video, I told you I used um, fresh aloe to retwist last time, and I think it left like a little bit of a smell, so I wanted to at least get that out. Typically, I don't wash my hair with, um, with the shampoo um, more than once, you know, um, every few washes or something like that. I may do a co-wash typically using um, a tea tree uh, conditioner, which helps my hair pretty um, and clean cleanses it. But I did try using aloe again. Um, I actually took the aloe and um, took it out of the actual plant, put it in a blender and put some essential oils. I put grapefruit, um, bergamot mints, um, and lavender just to kind of help with the smell. And all those things are great for your hair. They help with strengthening it, help with um, uh, reducing breakage and shine and things of that nature. And the aloe is great for that as well. It's a great humectant. So um, I've been having issues with um, dryness so i'm trying um little things to kind of hold in moisture in my hair so of course i use that um as actually a rinse add some distilled water i uh, used it as a rinse with some conditioner which was quite interesting something i had never tried before so we'll see how my hair tolerates that throughout the week but um so far so good one thing is that i did not strain uh, my aloe gel whatever you want to call it concoction very well so there were some little white particles in there and some little pieces of the aloe um the leaf itself the green stuff so um tip definitely make sure you're straining well or um blending well or when you're actually cutting up the plant that you're getting all the um the green leaf off so um that's my little ordeal with aloe this time lock knots i'm excited about what things are how this is going to turn out i'm actually on my way out to a to an event so need to hurry so thanks guys for tuning in looking forward to um the next video have a great one bye